So I guess our story, story begins when our daughter Evie uh, was diagnosed with autism when she was two years old. Um, at that point, we didn't know anyone with autism. Um, we didn't know anyone with kids with autism. We didn't know any adults with autism. So it's, we were like, okay, what does that mean? What do we do? Um, and so uh, the preschool that Evie was at, there was a social worker that was working with us that helped us get in touch with some resources. And we were able to get Evie an RBT to be with her eight hours a day at her preschool. Um, well, that apparently just didn't work for the preschool. It wasn't enough. So we were told that when she turned three, that she could no longer attend that preschool. We had heard about the learning center from a family friend whose son attends the learning center and what an amazing place uh, it is. And so we went for a tour and we're just absolutely blown away. I was like, this is incredible. This just blew my mind. I didn't know such a school existed. And so I was like, okay, we gotta get her on the waiting list. And so we filled out the application, we put her on the waiting list and we just crossed our fingers. And so in the meantime, because she wasn't gonna be able to continue at her preschool, we put her at the, the public uh, school that we were zoned for uh, with an autism program that was the full autism program that they offer. In the afternoons, I would frequently get text messages saying that she was crying because she didn't want to nap and the other children were napping and she was disturbing them. In one text, the teacher asked if uh, she could give her Cheetos to kind of distract her while the other kids were napping and I was like, sure, absolutely. So it was hard. Um, so a month into school when we got the email from the learning center saying that that Evie was off the wait list, they had a spot for her, we were like, yes, we accept. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't wait for her to start. We were so excited. Um, and the, the transition was, was amazing. Um, the, the teachers, everyone, the staff, the therapists were just absolutely incredible. I think that after looking at um, doing that tour for the school and seeing what resources the school here had, um, it, we were really impressed. And then kind of going back to the, the public school, we, we understood, we saw very clearly that unfortunately the public school program is under-resourced. You know, the teacher was wonderful, um, the classroom was nice, um, and they did the best they could with, with what they had, but it just wasn't enough. And it, it really doesn't compare to, to what TLC can offer the students here. From going, uh, going from being in that same room all day long to coming to TLC where she goes out to her art classes, her technology class, to gym. I mean, she has all these different enriching activities to having all these special events where they brought ice to the school, right? Snow, uh, train rides and, and inflatables, right? That was, you know, I think she loved that. I think all the kids love it. So it's something that I don't know that you find in, in other places. Uh, she's on the cheer team. Actually, they started clubs this year, right? So she's on the cheer team. Uh, chorus. Chorus, yeah, she loves to dance. And the <laughs> drama club. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and in art club. She's, yes. she's quite the artist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is. So it, it's really kind of brought her out. You know, I think when she started here, she, she couldn't speak. Um, and, and shortly thereafter, you know, she, she said mom for the first time. Yeah, so yeah, a couple months later, she said mama. Um, for the first time and I was just like wow I was so excited because as a mom I feel like you wait for that day when your child says mama and you know as our first and never hearing that and she finally said it it was just amazing and then you know several months later spring so that was in November of uh, the year she started last year and then come spring break um, I took her to the library for an event and she was writing her name when she started, she couldn't say her name, she couldn't spell her name, she most definitely couldn't write it. And she was writing her name. She could say it, she could spell it, and she was writing it. And it was just absolutely incredible. And when we send her to school every day, we're not just sending her to school to be educated, which we are, but we're sending her to school to learn life skills as well as to be loved and cared for because the individuals that work here it's not just a job for them you can see it when when they look at her when they work with her the passion they have the way they care about her and the other students it's incredible that's not just something you can teach somebody that's just an innate quality that the individuals that work here have and i i cannot thank them enough 
for for loving and caring and educating our daughter the way that they have and i can't imagine having her you know be success as successful anywhere else as she is here it's just an incredible place mm. we're we're very very thankful yeah. We're at the newest location of the Learning Center here in Royal Palm Beach. I'm with Stacy. Stacy, tell me about this new location and plans for the future. Okay. Well, we are so excited to be in Royal Palm Beach. Um, we had a tremendous amount of support from the mayor, from the commissioners, from the residents to get our school open in September for our students. It truly took a village. For the school year of 2024-25, we are opening placements for 9th through 12th grade. So we will be able to provide services for pre-K all the way through 12th grade. Following that, we have more good news. We are building a building that is made for these students, that fosters independence, that's created for their every need. We're building an educational facility that will create a warm and inviting, inclusive environment. And we want it to be not just an educational facility, we want it to become a home for our students and our families. There's so many amazing things happening here. What's get, what sets this school apart? It's the people. It's the experts that we have on our team providing the services. It's the evidence-based practices that we utilize. It's the three to one or lower ratios for each and every one of our students. It's the customized classrooms. It's the individualized and tailored programs. Each student has their own unique educational plan that we follow. Um, we get to see the students where they start. We get to see the progress that they make. And we have so much hope for their future. We know that all the moments that we're here teaching them are important and will make a difference for the future. There's so much that they are going to contribute to our community. We were living in Connecticut at the time and there had been a article about the school and there was nothing like that in Connecticut. So um, my family and I applied, wrote letters and eventually got the opportunity to um, meet with Stacy, who was wonderful. The school was wonderful and Christopher was five at the time. Um, so we moved our whole family here for the school and we have not regretted it. We have seen such growth and strides with his development and with um, his socialization and um, I mean just having the knowledge that his teacher has been the same one for the last three years and they know him. If parents are considering sending their child here, what can you tell them about the environment and the teachers and faculty that make this such a special place? They're so passionate, they're dedicated, it's again it's the expertise that we have. People that have been in the field for over 20 years are here educating the students. Um, we have a team that's been together for close to eight years itself, so we're passionate about making every moment meaningful for these children. They walk in this door and we provide a safe and quality, supportive environment for them while they're here. We want learning to be fun for them. They have a lot to do and grow, and we want to make sure that that experience is a very positive experience for them. Christopher loves coming to the Learning Center every day. Um, it's a really special place. It's a school for him and his peers. And that's something that is just so valuable 